parents, siblings, grandparents, friends, second cousins twice removed, I bid you welcome to Duke University and to this lovely facility. Uh, at some basketball games, you'll see the opposing team come out of the locker room from right around there and they walk into the stadium and they look up in the ceiling with awe like they were in a planetarium taking in the sights of this most imposing and beloved facility. Now, I always find it a little bit amusing when I'm asked to speak in Cameron because the only athletic prowess I ever showed was the 100-yard dash back to my bedroom after dinner so I could get back on my computer. executive director of Duke Tip. I was actually identified by the program when I was in seventh grade just a couple years ago. So I'd like to pause and recognize who brought you here today. When I usually I ask the question, why are you here? Many will say, well, my parents made me come. <laughs> they made you come because they have a big vision for who you are now and who you will become. They've got it figured out. So I'd love for each of you to stand up and let's recognize our parents, guardians, families for all of their support of you. So turn to your family and recognize and thank them for their hard work. Thank you. I was absolutely nerdy when I was in middle school and for high school and post high school up until this moment. And when I was in middle school, I, I loved school. I loved learning, I loved classes, I loved homework, but it sometimes felt like there's a disconnect between what I like doing in school and maybe what some of my friends or my peers in the classroom liked. I was nerdy, but also extremely outgoing and in some ways incredibly confident, but my sense of my own awesomeness did not align with what many of my classmates valued, right? So I was popular within a subset of like the sort of smart kid click. That's something that uh, really shaped me as, as a child was just noticing how other people are different and um, if you are different or even if you feel different that it can uh, really change your perspective on the world. And um, I try to make a positive out of that, thinking that um, those experiences maybe have made me a little bit more of a compassionate person, a little bit more of a generous person or an understanding person. What I want to encourage you to do is as you grow in who you are, is to embrace who you are and recognize that your uniqueness is needed. Your uniqueness makes you different and what makes you different makes you special. When I look out upon you, my heart smiles. My heart smiles because I think about not just who you are today, but who you will be in the near future. So when I see groups of young people who've already done remarkable things, I always think, who's the person who's going to do the thing that it hasn't even occurred to me as possible, right? And those are the people who give me hope. We at Duke are not looking for students who adopt cookie-cutter textbook approaches for getting into college. You'll often hear us say that we're looking for interesting people who are doing interesting things. That does not necessarily mean following the well-trodden path of being an Olympic athlete while saving the whales on the weekends and curing cancer in the summers. If you're a really excellent musician and you decide to spend all of your time leaning into your instrument, that's wonderful. If you decide that you do two or three things really well and you want to combine them in an interesting way, that's pretty great as well. We're looking for excellence in whatever way you manifest it. 
So don't waste your talent, your skills, and your passions following somebody else's example. Be truly excellent in whatever you choose, and we'll hope to see you again in just a few years. Go Duke. Congratulations. Thank you.